So on Saturday, it's the day of Saturn. In uh, India, Saturn holds a special place. Um, there's a book, a famous story about it, called The Greatness of Saturn, or the Shani Mahatmya. Here's a picture of Saturn there riding his vulture. And you can see he's a pretty fearsome character. Uh, when Saturn visits your life, you can expect bad things to happen. And he's often associated with the inevitability of time and of death. So it's appropriate that we practice uh, the corpse pose today. The thing is that we can make death our friend. You know, if we th realize that, yes, one day it's coming, then it makes us in, uh, motivated to make the best we can of today, uh, to make sure that we reach all our goals in this lifetime. So uh, the corpse pose is a relaxation pose. So you've probably practiced this either at the beginning or the end or both uh, of a series of yoga postures. Um, really easy posture, but there's a couple of little bits of alignment which can make it a lot more comfortable for you. Oh look, my cat's practicing corpse pose too. So, so uh, start just sitting uh, with your feet about hip width apart. Support yourself on your hands and then roll back. In this way you get as much of your back in contact with the floor. If you've got a curved back and you find that your chin's lifting, then place a cushion so it's level with the top of your shoulders. Tuck your chin in and slide your heels out one at a time. The feet want to be about hip width apart and relax your hips and legs so that they roll out or in. Hands by your side and roll out your upper arms, your palms will probably be up, and draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Then in this pose you withdraw all the energy from your body, so really let your body become very still, like a corpse, dead still, and hold that for some time. start to come back round. Nice to start moving initially just at the fingers and the toes. Make any yawns or stretches that you need to. Some people like to wash their face and head or hug their knees. And then roll to your right side and rest here for a little while. Blinking your eyes open. Seeing what you can see. And use your hands to bring yourself up to sitting. So Shavasana is a very important pose. In some way uh, the most important pose that you can practice in yoga. Uh, some people recommend practicing it so that your head's facing north, uh, so that the magnet of your body and the magnet of the earth are all lined up. Do like it when cats do yoga. Okay, so enjoy uh, practicing your posture for Saturday and uh, remember that uh, you say even harsh teachers like time and death and karma can be good friends if you make them so. I'll see you tomorrow for Sunday. Thanks, bye.